<laughs> and I was like, it's just... <laughs> I wish there was a mod for every time Mario exits a level and says, shoo, it got replaced with <laughs> a waffle. Were you there? No, I don't think you were. When me and Rob, when we were at um, Spirits, uh -huh. and over the speakers, I played, um, it was like a compilation of uh, Tim Allen making weird noises from Home Improvement, but I, it was slowed down. <laughs> so it was like, <laughs> and people were like, what are you listening to? And eventually I had to turn it off because it sounded like we were listening to porn. Oh my god. What's this level? Uh, the Wolf and Sunflowers. It's after my favorite film, Will and Ted's Bolt and Sunflowers. <laughs> oh, hi. Ew. Yeah, there's some weird creatures in this game. You have to bait them into ground pounding you and then move out of the way and then murder them. It's really, I'd say, actually one of the more simple levels in the game. Oh, I'd love a dick. <laughs> so true. I forget how you get those, um... Like, there's blue coins in baskets, I forget how you get them. I'm assuming I could get, um, Wily Coyote over here to smash it for me. I feel like most of this game is Mario going around, um, kind of aggroing creatures that weren't angry to begin with, and then he just murders them. So basically, it's No Man's Sky. Uh, yeah, but good. He landed just kind of whatever. We just caught the corner of him. Yeah, which is weird because this game is usually pretty finicky with yeah. the, uh, ground pound. This was made in, you know, the Bush era, so they were probably talking about Cheney. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this was all just propaganda. Mm -hmm. Japanese uh, pro-American propaganda. Hey, you know how much the Japanese love Dick Cheney? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the Japanese uh, opinion on Dick Cheney is. Indifference. Probably. They're probably like, yeah. Which to him is like love. Yeah. Because the only thing he feels is hate. The only thing he feels is hate and the urge to shoot someone in the face. What happened there? I will never, ever be able to understand that. Ah, I thought he was a quail. I thought it was Dan Quail. <laughs> I always hated Dan Quail. <laughs> Marcus? <laughs> Would you now? Pokies are annoying in Mario 64. Yeah. I don't know. I, I like them in Mario 64. I feel like it's just because I've mastered the ability of... Uh, oh, yeah, I forgot you were a pro Super Mario 64 player. Yeah, that's how I bought my first Mercedes. Off of my money from uh, Mario 64. Pro playing. Yeah, is there a big eSports... Uh, it's all about speedrun, babe. Community, yeah. Yep. Demonstrating a speedrun right there. Getting hit by the enemy. It's a valuable time saver. It moves you from one place to another. That's all I care about. Ah, there. These guys are kind of freaky looking. Yeah, they they're, don't really look like they fit in with the Mario universe. Yeah, I don't really get why. Like Final Fantasy ish. Final. It's probably made up for the fact that they never made a Final Fantasy game for the GameCube, except for that weird, uh. Um. I was in Final Fantasy IV Swords. Yep. You just want to talk about that, right? I with don't. The there's, there's one that you could only play um, with the uh, Game Boy connectors. It was weird. Uh -huh. I don't remember yeah. that at all. I remember being really into it because the art looked cool, but... It's also one of those... It's Joshy! Dad? <laughs> Meanwhile, Mario's over here celebrating. 
Like a damn jagaloon. That's the first time you've sli uh, slid down that without hitting your head. Oh, sad though. Sad. Oh yeah, he didn't hit his head. We're gonna have to bring it back to Italy. Or Australia, I don't know say, say crikey. I was gonna say, why is he going to Italy? And then I realized he's an Italian plumber. Plumbers, they're not, we're not said, they're not said of the best. At this point, I feel like Shadow Mario should probably, like, not Where is be he? Shadow Mario. He's in the front, like, main plaza. Like, I feel like he should just be running around as Bowser Jr. at this point. Yeah, he already revealed himself. The mysterious mustachioed man has been seen to your left running about town holding an egg. I require an egg. Now behind you. Can I offer you an egg in these trying times? To your left, good lord. Oh, there he is. Oh, there he is. Good. So you might have to activate him first. I might have to activate the launch sequence. <laughs> activate my trap card. <laughs> I miss him, I love him. Yu-Gi-Oh! I miss Ben Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> Isn't that the president of uh, Israel? Where'd he go? Ben Yu-Gi-Oh! I remember him just running on the rooftops. I have no clue where he went to. Oh, there he is. Hey, everyone. Spider Mario here. Spider Mario would be probably pretty freaky. <laughs> Imagine Mario with eight eyes and eight legs. Ooh. <laughs> That's weird. I'm <laughs> picturing man spider, but like Mario style. Yeah, uh huh. And I'll tell you what, I don't like it. No. I'm sure Nintendo's listening and probably is putting Spider Mario in Odyssey as we speak. Absolutely. Hey Shiggy, should we put Spider Mario in Odyssey? Absolutely. <laughs> or sorry, I meant Shiggy. Should, should we put? <laughs> or, sorry, <laughs> let me redo that again. Meatloaf. Should we put <laughs> Spider Mario in Super Mario Odyssey? Absolutely. I didn't know that Donald Trump and Meatloaf worked for Nintendo. <laughs> uh, duh. You have to bring Josh a, um... A banana. A banana. A banana. I'm a quiet, a banana. Do you like, uh, Godzilla? Binya? Um... Gullah Gullah they... Island. Gullah Gullah. Binya Binya. Racism. I don't, I don't know what that is. Look up Gullah Gullah Island. It's a kid show. How is it racist? Show. Because they, like, made this giant frog with giant Jamaican lips. <laughs> what are Jamaican lips? Maybe I'm the racist. I think you are. <laughs> Jamaican lips? I don't know. Jamaican oh, no sense. You're making me crazy. Make him eat. He doesn't want to eat. You have to make him eat. Mm. That's where I learned everything I know. Is <laughs> it more than sunshine? That is busy. <laughs> My favorite is the move where you make him throw up. Oh, I forgot that they ruined his voice in this. No, I think this is when Yoshi started, like, getting a good voice. That was me. How? Purple Yoshi, best Yoshi. What they want you to do is get the, uh, the pineapple out of the, the pipe right. in, uh, Serena Beach. I do what I want. Are, what are those? Are, are they durians? How do you Those's pronounce that? Uh, durans? Is that it? It's Yeah, look, Duran Duran. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's either that or a jackfruit. It looks like a jackfruit. I don't know. Which, uh, fun fact, jackfruit is used as a substitute for pulled pork. Cool. Neato. Oh, we're going in, huh? I thought I am. Going to psychedelic lane. This was the level as a kid. I couldn't beat. I had you and Alex beat this for me. So, when I was a kid, this was the only level that I never beat. And uh, I still kind of hate this level, like, a lot. Well, I remember this hub world, but I don't remember this actual level, so... Serena Beach is one of my favorites. Like, besides this level, it's absolutely one of the best. 
Because I'm a big like horror guy, and like inside there's all ghosts and stuff. I I always remember liking the color of the slime in here. Mm -hmm. it's like a, uh, electric. But you might get. Mama! I think it's only fire. I don't think so. Wow, this is bad. <laughs> oh my good lord. Dear pesky plumbers, the Koopalings and I have captured the princess and hidden them in eight Koopa hotels. Oh, this guy. This Pianta just said, I don't know why, but you look very capable to me. Was he not paying attention to what you've been doing? <laughs> Must have gotten uh, some slime on his glasses. Hi! That's that Gossamer one? Ghoul. <laughs> what does that mean? Okay, I remember this now, and I remember hating it. I've never even heard the word Gossamer before. Gossamer, I don't even know her. <laughs> Alright, so, uh... You spray him. Best thing to do is hover nozzle. Uh, one of the better techniques is the, like, spin and spray. Yeah. Also, he's in water right now. He should be taking damage, but he's not. I think that... Maybe now. Causes it to slow the game down. Yeah, I don't know what it was about this as a kid that I just hated. It's still pretty annoying. No, I also remember it being pretty difficult, too, so... It's like, towards the end, it just gets really annoying. Because there's a lot of them, and sometimes you don't know where they are. Good lord. I think there's still a whole bunch of coins that you can get around here. When you have Is that a the only uh, source of water. No, there's an ocean right there. Yeah, there's a bunch of ponds. There's that. Uh, like I said, the one of the better things is the spin. Yeah. I don't know where there are like other coin depositories. Deposits? Depositories. Where, um... Putting your coins out of your butt. Where'd you get that coin from? Did it just, like, pop out of nowhere? Yeah, so I'm spraying a bunch of this. Huh, huh. Where's the one where you don't leave the ground? Oh, now you have that nozzle. Get that and do one of the spooky levels. It's turbo time. <laughs> Tiny. <laughs> Where did he go? He's behind you. Stop, villain. <laughs> <laughs> Tiny. <Chime. laughs> <laughs> That's my favorite line in all of Jingle All The Way. <laughs> well, he does kind of do that, where he goes, Jamie, and then Luke, or Anakin goes, You know it's my name. Oh, yeah. Turn and the then, volume up. And then Sinbad's like, I was in a genie. <laughs> Did you see what I said? Yep. Get the mama. He got the. He got the. It's a shame that most of the main actors from that, besides Arnold, are dead. Like Phil Hartman, Jake Lloyd, Sinbad, that reindeer, Tom Arnold, Turbo Man. 
Gilbert Godfrey. Tom Arnold wasn't in that. <laughs> Gilbert Godfrey. <laughs> he was in that. Gilbert Godfrey? Doesn't he do Booster's voice? Booster sounds a lot like Gilbert Godfrey. No, I think it's that other guy. The guy who does one of the like Muppets on Toy Story. What? What Muppets on Toy Story are you talking about? The Muppet one. The T-Rex, I think. Huh? You mean Rex? Yeah. That's not a Muppet. Wait a minute, what? I didn't know about that. Can you do anything in there? That's strange. Very mysterious. <laughs> It's floating. Rats. Turbo Dasher. Oh, you can't because you don't have flood, you stupid idiot. So down there, you know where those cops are? Mm -hmm. uh, you just kind of zoom into them. <laughs> this one's one of my favorites to just fool around with. So turn around. Who knew bananas were so like danger. What? So down there you just zoom through those guys. Yeah. This is one of those that I think is very mixed. People either are really good at this one or just stink completely at it. I guess we're gonna find out. How I do sure Green Hill Zone. Yeah, it kind of does look like Green Hill Zone. I personally really like this one. I'm not very good at it, but I still think it's a lot of fun. I think I'm good at this one because I'm good at burnout. Uh, you're not good at burnout. Uh, shut your damn mouth. I wish insult you'd... your entire race. I wish you'd shut your dang mouth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, your heart was in the right place. <laughs> oh man. That was the worst. Although I will say that probably happens to everybody at some point. This is just like a big uh, Ruth Goldberg machine. Ruth Goldberg? <laughs> yeah, you know, Ruth Goldberg, the inventor of the Ruth Goldberg machine. 